What is going on everybody? Running back the video. This time instead of an E2, E3, the site supervisor controller. This is another one that's going to be replacing the E2s. Got the 24 volts to the left. We got already built in boards in there. DIs, ROs, the COM. And right underneath that is for the AIs. As you can see, it already has a board built in the controller. And that's where the Ethernet Cat5 wires go into where you can put your screens because this controller does not need a screen to operate but you can apply for the technicians. To the right of the controller you have the sticker of the version and everything. We usually write the IP address there for the guys. And right now I'm gonna go plug into it. You see the Cat5 wire plugged into the computer. And on the other one, you needed the Ultrasight 32 to work to get into the controller to the E2s, but for this one, you don't. All you have to verify is you don't conflict. So again, Ethernet, Properties, select TCP slash IPv4. Make sure the IP address does not conflict with the controller, which this one is 250 at the end. So right here, I set it up to 253, three up. Okay, let's close it up. And once you've done all that, now instead of Ultrasight 32, all you really do for this controller is Site Supervisor, is you go to the Internet Explorer. And all you do is type in the IP address for the controller. So for this one, 192.168.1.250. Once you get it in there, all you have to do is hit Enter. And there you go, you're in the site supervisor. So this controller is a CX, so you have both refrigeration and HVAC in the controller. If you don't look it into it, you hit the little tab, and it shows you everything programmed in there. So this is a low temp rack, minus 23. Reach your frozen food, you click on it, you see all the cases in there. Once you log in, it'll give you an option to edit if you have to go in there and edit something. Plus 20 rack. Pressure's right there. So, yeah, so right now I'm not logged in, I can't adjust anything. Let's go a little bit more down. Show you the HVAC side of it. Once you play around with the controller, you become more used to it, more simpler for you to use. So now on the top left, there's a little gear button. When you hit it, it, you have more options. You can check out all the defrost, the network, all the boards. And but for this, for us, the file management, when you want to back up the controller. So here, I'm just going to hit backup. I'm just going to hit something simple like RC. I mean, usually I put the store number and then, you know, the city for what backup it is. So backing it up to the computer. While I'm doing this, you know, let me actually go over there to the actual site supervisor and show you that in the supervisor, there's a little card where you can put the backup in there. So if you ever lose a program, this little SD card or whatever you call it, holds the program in there. So you can load it in there and just have it saved. So if you do lose a program, you can just put it right there and restore it from that little disk. done to the computer Let's hit ok and there you go guys how to connect to the site supervisor and backing it up there's not many site supervisors but they are coming and you know as long as you took something from this video how to connect to it and get ahead of the curve then there you go I hope you enjoyed <laughs>